Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial video. So today I'm going to be telling you guys how to grind efficiently and get loads of XP on Cosmic PvP. So this tutorial is specific to Cosmic PvP because other faction servers will have other mechanics and stuff which will change um, the priorities of things you need to, in order to grind loads. Um, but yeah, first off you will need blaze grinders so blaze grinders are the most efficient and best way to get xp as you can see i am currently on 150k xp which is quite a lot on cosmic and it's many hours of grinding so yeah first of all you need a good grinding sword on a grinding sword you need some type of rage featherweight 3 and inquisitive 4 loads of people have reforged 10 but that is not necessary and also a higher um Level of looting is also good. I have a looting four sword, um, which is very good. It means I can get more blaze spawners when I'm grinding, so that means I can get more money without actually selling the XP. Um, so, yeah, also, you're going to need an efficient grinder. So, this isn't really the most efficient because there's two spots here, but if you can get it so it's just one spot in the middle and you can just sit here grinding for ages that is just great also I have a little technique in order to get um, a most efficient use out of your time also now on cosmic they have that weird GUI thing that stops you from using mobile or so a lot of people are going to be looking up this tutorial um, so yeah first off you want to be able to have clear lag um, so this means that you can check when the next clear lag is and it's used by all the professional like players and all the good players who grind because what they do is they just check clear lag and that means they can basically just AFK for that time as long as no one else steals the grinder um, so for example if I was going to do something now I would look at the clear lag thing you just do that by doing slash clear lag there and it will tell you a time um, so yeah you just put a timer for probably 30 seconds before the actual time down there just so that you have time to kill all the uh, blazes this can be done with spiders and zombies and stuff but that's more of a newbie approach and um, that will take a lot longer than this so yeah basically you'll set it to 30 seconds before and once four minutes is gone in my case or not xp then you can come back and there'll be quite a lot of blazes here and you can just grind them so this also means you'll be able to do other things within that five minutes uh, so like do homework or catch up with other things that you need to do in real life so it just means you can be good at the game as well as just get on with your real life and catch up with everything and also another very important tip is that you will need to have a very good base so I will show you F map um, but yeah we basically have a radius claim of I think it's about uh, six or seven which is quite big so that means this base will be very hard to raid um, and also you also want to have at least 18 bases that's how many bases I have uh, at the moment which isn't that much most of you guys will have a lot more than that um, but yeah basically next episode if you guys are a viewer of my channel or um, you watch me frequently or you're just here through the tutorial I'm going to be doing a 250k XP opening which is going to be absolutely amazing hopefully you guys will smash a like for that if you guys have any other tips um, for people grinding XP and stuff please be sure to leave them in the comments I'm sure if they didn't find my video helpful um, they'll be looking in the comments and elsewhere for uh, better tutorials but yeah if you guys have any better tips or better tutorials or anything that can help anyone who's watching this video please be sure to leave it in the comments um, but yeah for a grinder you typically want to have let's just look in here uh, I think it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you want to have it nine actually no this is a bit small I'd say you would have a eleven by eleven so that means that in the center there'll be one spot where all the water goes to um, Actually no 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 actually no 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 this is the perfect size for one so yeah it's 10 by 10 so it just means it goes down into here and you can just easily grind the blazers I don't know if this is going to help you guys but I'm just thought I mentioned it um, just in case some of you guys pick up on it and just don't understand if you have any queries please be sure to just write them in the comments and I will try and answer all of them uh, have I missed out anything 
Uh, always sell your blazers because you can get loads of money. I think at the moment I've not one million. I've had like about a hundred k from selling blazers um, without even selling any XP. So it just gets you lots of money. So as you can see here, I've got about one, two, three, four, five, six. So five and a half stacks, and I'm gonna be getting. 10k roughly from that which is pretty good and bearing in mind I haven't sold any XP and that means I can go to open book so for this episode uh, actually no 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 I was gonna open a actually no let's just look in here see if there's any legendary books there's an ultimate book let's see here it's a bit overpriced also that reminds me um, when you're selling books or selling XP don't do XP bottle and sell it that way what you want to do is if you are selling a legendary enchantment book, sell it for 300k in auction. Ultimate book, five or oh, 50k. Elite, 25k. Unique, 10k. I just thought I'd add these prices in uh, just to help you guys if you are thinking of selling books. And never, never, ever sell simple books because no one will just buy them and it'll be a waste of your time. Um, but here we go. Ultimate enchantment book, boom. Detonate nine. Oh my god, that's actually pretty good. Actually, no, it's a pickaxe enchantment. I thought, oh my god, rip. Rip. Um, also, don't open your books because that would be a waste of money. And like this, this is probably worth nothing. So, I'm just going to tinker this. And also, tinker your books if you get bad books. Um, because, as you can see, my luck with books is pretty bad. So, I've just tinkered loads. Um, I got loads of really good dust, which is quite good. And see, look, as I was saying earlier, it says all entities will be cleared in 30 seconds there. So I can just grind away all the blazers that have previously been stored here. Um, and I can just get loads of XP rather than just sitting here for like 10 minutes straight, just grinding. Um, you can have a break and do other stuff. So I'm just going to quickly clear this off and we'll see what we can get from the magic secret dust thing there <laughs> I need to do a check what name it is because I'm a big noob but yeah if you guys haven't left a like um, likes are much appreciated and subscribe if you haven't already three two one boom what did we get oh my god damn it three percent that's pretty bad uh, I was hoping for a lot more than that but yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode if it has helped please be sure to smash that like button and remember any queries comment in the comment and I'll try and help you out a bit and subscribe for more future tutorials and episodes thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on sunday for the next episode see ya